Oh! Oh! Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, God. Oh, stop. Stop it. Hey, guys. Dennis Machina here. Thanks for hanging out. Today's reaction is the latest creepypasta from Crypt TV. This is Mira. Boys won't be boys. But before we get into it, please go over and support everybody involved in making this. From the person who narrated it to Crypt TV themselves, I'll leave the links to both their channels in the description below. Then go over and support my channel. It's very easy. Just go right below this video. Click that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. And please give that like button some love because I put up new videos every single day. And every little bit of support helps. So without any further ado, Lego. His name was Eric. Okay. All state track star. Voted most popular boy in school. And for some reason, he was about to give me my first kiss. Uh-oh. I say was because Eric is dead. Oh! Boys. Ugh. Not long after Mira and I dealt with Laura and her silly sidekick beauty queens. Okay. Everything at school pretty much went back to normal. Oh no, that's not good. Everything but me, that is. I didn't go back to my miserable self. Oh, that's good. Mira helped me find my confidence. <laughs> That's awesome in a weird way. Scars that covered my face. I was walking with my head held high now, although I must admit, slitting little Miss Pretty Laura's throat gave me an awfully big appetite for vengeance. Okay. I shouldn't hold on to that. I need Probably to not. let go of that feeling and remember not everyone is like her. There it's are true. still good people left in this school. It's true. That's what I thought, at least. Uh-oh. Maybe it was my newfound confidence, but I realized Eric was noticing me more at school. Oh, snap. Eric was one of the coolest kids, if not the coolest kid in school. And he was actually starting to smile back at me when I looked over at him. All right. An actual smile, not a look of disgust like most people. All right. It was nice you to go, girl. a smile from a boy. One day, Eric asked me out on a date. Ooh. A date. Me. Prune-faced Patty was asked out by Mr. Popular himself, Eric. Something tells me this is some sort of setup to hurt her. I hope I'm wrong. Safe to say, I said yes. He took me out to a really bad horror movie, oh. which had us laughing more than being scared. That's always he fun. He then bought me ice cream and asked if I would like to go for a walk in the nearby woods. Uh oh. How could I say no, right? Nearby woods. As not I a good sign. Ice cream, we walked along, not saying much. He seemed nervous about something, and I couldn't quite place it. Here comes. He ended up holding my hand. Oh, that's nice. Like I was crashing down a roller coaster. Never had a boy asked to go on a walk with me let alone hold my hand. I didn't want any of it to end. When is it going to go wrong? As we walked along, he stopped me by a couple of trees. Uh-oh. I turned to look at him, and he said, Patty, I would like to give you something. Uh-oh. I asked him what, and he replied, a kiss. Oh. This was it. My first kiss. I couldn't wait. I almost screamed. I was so excited. Uh oh. I closed my eyes and felt like I could sense him getting closer. Oh no. Something's gonna happen. We're just about to touch. And then it happened. From above, in the trees, Eric's track mates, Leaf and Darren, dumped two oh, no! water over me. Oh, that's they terrible! All as I stood there soaking wet. I didn't want to be right. How'd you like your big wet? Kiss, prune face. Eric laughed out of his gaping mouth. Leaf and Darren jumped out of the trees and joined him in pointing fingers. If only they knew what was coming. Oh, looks like we were too late putting the fire out, Patty. Too bad. That, that's messed said. up. They were all nearly rolling on the ground in laughter at this point. I would have cried, but that was the old me. Instead... I chuckled. Mm -hmm. Then that chuckle transformed 
into a hysterical laughter. Mm -hmm. Standing there wet like I had crawled out of the ocean, just maniacally laughing. Because what they didn't realize was that the joke was on them. Absolutely was. Quickly, I pulled out my pocket mirror, and as I opened it, I spoke. Oh, Mira. Uh -oh. Confused, Eric asked between giggles. <laughs> Who's Mira? You'll see. Your said, end? Smiling my biggest smile at him. I turned the pocket mirror around for him to look at. Before he could face his reflection. There she he is! Oh! 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 And Darren stood wide eyed watching Eric being choked, unsure of what to do. The water they had dumped on me had created pools of reflection around me. And that's a cool effect. As if another world had opened up below their feet. Like that, that's cool. Arms reached out and grabbed Leaf and Darren. You are all going to die. Mira's mirror world. I watched their nails crack on the floor as their hands dragged across the ground, trying desperately to stay alive, but it was no match for Mira's power. Darren had been sucked in, leaving nothing behind. Bye bye. Food curdling scream. Bye bye. Leaf was somehow holding on to it for dear life. No, you can you can go bye bye too. So you can to go bye bye too. Hand. I asked him, "Do you need some help?" He looked at me with tear-stained eyes and screamed for me to take his hand. I did him one better. Oh boy. I raised my foot and smashed it down. Oh damn. His knuckles into a fine dust. All the while smiling down at him. Damn, that's a cool Watching shot. Watching that pathetic fool be dragged into Mira's world for a lifetime of pain as he stared at me with those glossy eyes. I turned around, and there was Mira. Full bodied now, with Eric's throat still in her clutches, and then crunch face to face. The fear in his eyes, the moment locked in them. That he knows he shouldn't have messed with prune face patty. That's what it's all about. Stupid boys. Yep. What's the matter, Eric? Aren't you ready for your big wet kiss? Uh oh! He's gonna get a kiss. Oh! Oh, that's so 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 disgusting! Oh! Oh! Oh, that is disgusting! Oh god! Oh! Stop! Stop it! Uh, uh, any girl I know okay. Scream. No, he didn't scream like a girl. He screamed like a boy. Like a bitch? A boy who messed with the wrong girl. I leaned in and whispered in his ear, Fuck her up, big boy. And before another scream could emit from his mouth, yeah. the had latched onto his face. Eric's muffled cries for help were all too hilarious to hear as he received his last ever kiss. I will admit his track star energy showed as he put up quite a struggle. But he but still he did. wasn't able to run from this one. Nope. Mira finally unlatched by his face, leaving a gaping maw where his mouth had been. The life drained from oh. him completely. Oh. They say boys will be boys. Yeah. Not if I have anything to say about it. No if boys more. be boys, they As be dead. I stood there looking at Eric's torn apart face. I thought about how desperately I wanted a boy to like me. To give me their approval. To kiss me. But I don't need them to prove my strength or beauty. You tell him, girl. I don't need them for anything. You tell him, girl. The only one I need is Mira. The boys are done being boys, and together we're going to make sure of that. I like where this is going. Now, something I've been learning while watching this series is if you are at all a dick, Mira's going to come for you. She's going to kill you in a very, very gruesome way. Now, unfortunately, real life doesn't work that way. I'm not saying that I wish death upon anybody, but, you know, some sort of karma every now and then would, you know, just be lovely. So, the lesson to this series is, don't be a dick. It literally costs you nothing to not be a dick. 
So that will do it for this reaction. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen next. Share this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Ring the notification bell because I put up new videos every single day. And I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.